Hi friends, today I am going to talk about Google Cloud Functions. So Google Cloud Function is a serverless execution environment for building and connecting cloud services. Here, Google Cloud Function is a lightweight, event-based, asynchronous compute solution that allows you to create a small single purpose functions that respond to cloud events without the need to manage server or a runtime environment. In this particular session, I am going to show one simple application writing my first Google Cloud function okay so now this is my cloud environment first i am using the api services i want to enable the api i'm going to the dashboard here i want to type the cloud functions Cloud, cloud functions. Now I want to move to the cloud functions. So here I want to press the create function. So here I want to provide the function name. My HTTP function and memory allocated 256 MB and trigger. So we have HTTP, Cloud pops up, Cloud Storage, Cloud Firestore, Cloud Analytics for Firebase. Firebase authentication, Firebase real-time databases. So these are the triggers we have. So now I'm opting for the HTTP. So source code is inline editor. So I'm using as it is by default configurations, index the doc.js package.json. So here we have runtime node.js 6, node.js 8, Python 3.7. So now I'm opting for the Node.js 6 and my function is hello world. My function name is, can you observe here? This is my function hello world. So whenever I'm calling this function, it will be displaying a hello world. So now I'm pressing the create button. So my HTTP function has been created successfully. Can you observe here? So my function has been created. I want to enter into my function. So here, there is no data for this particular chat. Why? Because now only it got been started. So what kind of a trigger we have? This is the URL we have by using the HTTP. And this is my source package.json and index.js javascript so this is the script so if you want to edit it you can press this edit button and So click OK. So just I have modified that. And save. So here we have a testing option is there. So there we can pass the parameters just for the sake of. 
So I want to give that. Messages. So test the function. Can you observe here? I have given the message as a DWB at the videos. The same thing it has been. So can you come again? Welcome to my channel. Can you observe here? Now it is working perfect. So I want to press this URL, what it will happen. So hello world, welcome to DWB Adda videos. So whatever we have written here, the same thing it will be showing. So this is the way we can create a simple cloud functions in Google Cloud Platform. Thanks guys, thanks for watching my video. If you want more updates on the Google Cloud Platform, please subscribe to my channel. TWBA at the videos. Thank you very much.